the current test I'm going to be transferring a little over 120 gigs worth of data uh, to the Ugri NAS via a 20 gig AG on the device. Um, currently, you'll see that the Mac Studio um, is currently aggregated on the network side. You can see it's being bonded, and I currently have Jumble Frames enabled, which I'll be clicking on details to show you. Uh, as you can tell, Thunder one's through the built-in Ethernet, the other one is through the Thunderbolt 10 gig cable. Like I said, there's a jumble frame that you just saw, and I'm going to be transferring uh, quite a bit of data from the Mac Studio over to the Ugreen NAS to basically show you how fast the aggregate is running. As you can tell, currently this is about 75 gigs close and 62 gigs, so you know that's not too bad actually. It's a little bit under 140 gigs worth of data. I'm currently transferring it right now, and you'll see that it's going to be reaching gigs of um, speeds of about you know 10 gigs on each lane, which is nice. Uh, that's what we were trying to get the speeds, but then you're going to notice that due to the cache getting full, it's going to dip down a bit. Um, I'm going to be forwarding over this speed test shortly, and you're going to see that the speeds are going to you know decrease shortly. I'm going down a little bit under 10 gigs right now. But it's transferring, and it seems to the cache got full and it went down quite a bit and then back down up to a gig. Right now, I'm speeding up this part of the video of it just to kind of speed things up a little bit instead of having to sit here and wait the entire time. But as you can tell, right now it looks like it's doing about you know 400 500 megabits per second, give or take, it down all the way to 330 and about back to about 400. And then you'll see it'll spike back up. Uh, and this is all video files basically from Final Cut from all the editing of these videos that I'm doing just to show you the data transfer speed here as you can tell and then so that's going to be on the speeding disks this here is on an NVMe uh, on the Ugreen NAS it's a single NVMe I uh, use that just to transfer um, large amounts of data quickly and fast because as you can tell this is going to be done much much quicker much faster um, as you can tell here we're using the full two 10 gig lanes here um, and so normally what I'll do is I'll transfer everything to this 10 gig here and then on the back end I basically just transfer it over to the spinning hard drives that I currently have uh, this way it's not impacting any time on my computer because you can tell this is literally much much faster uh, it does dip down a little bit as you can tell here I'm speeding it up slightly coming up right now um, but I do get the full bandwidth of the 20 gigs uh, as you can tell it dipped down for a little bit about 400 500 and then go back up to the 10 gig as you can tell it goes up and down uh, but this is here being done on the NVMe drive currently is what's happening so it's going pretty fast actually to transfer close to what is it uh, 130 gigs give or take 140 um, worth of data which isn't too bad uh, it looks like the cache gets full every once in a while and then it kind of dips back down but as you can tell right now it seems to be going and sustaining the speeds pretty pretty good um, I'll go ahead and put a timer later on or I'll edit the video here and put in the speed results and the actual time that it took on the traditional hard drives versus the NVMe is what I'll end up showing you and, and taking care of here. So as you can tell, it was holding pretty good on the throughput here. It dipped down a little bit. Um, but like I said, this is all being done through the NVMe 4 terabyte on there and the 20 gig aggregate. I'm going to show you the storage pools basically that I have set up. As you can tell, I basically have three storage pools. Uh, the main data, which is our first drive, um, is basically does have the SSD cache enabled there, and it has a two terabyte um, on there. So you would think it would be able to sustain the throughput um, of the file that we were sending, because technically it was about a hundred, a little bit under 140 gigs, and this is a two terabyte um, cache. So you would think, like I said, it would hold a little bit longer and stronger but it didn't look like it however when I did transfer the stuff to the four terabyte as you can tell which is basically going to be storage pool two uh, it didn't really dip down as bad it did slightly but not to the you know not to the extreme it was able to sustain the throughput pretty well